Hi, and welcome to this short video on building wrist bow ties. I'm Jason Dole, and I'm co-founder, COO, and Chief Risk Officer at Tracker Networks. Today, I'm going to use our software to build a risk bow tie and explain the concept. Now, you certainly don't need to use software to build and maintain bow ties. You can use productivity apps, and we've got some bow tie templates that you can download from our website. We'll link those in the description below. But it certainly is easier to use software, and so I'm going to use a demonstration account from our essential ERM system. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to create a new risk. So I'm going to add a risk. Now the risk that I'm going to create is not a business risk, it's a personal one. It's the risk that my car is stolen from my driveway. I don't want to get hung up on the content, I want to focus on the, on the, the concepts, and so I'm going to use an everyday example that is a personal risk. So I've come into the details screen and I'll scroll down a little bit so we can see the bow tie diagram. Now risk bow ties get their name from the shape. This looks like a bow tie. The event that I'm concerned about goes in the middle. That's the risk event. So in this case, it's the risk that my car gets stolen out of my driveway. And on the far right, I can map the root causes that would cause this to occur. These are the hazards or the events that would precipitate the risk event. And on the far right, I can map my consequences. So how would this impact me in my life? And then I can map um, my mitigations or my controls. So what am I doing to prevent this risk from happening? And what am I doing if the risk does occur? What am I going to do to try to lessen the impact um, and to, to get myself up and running again faster? So with that in mind, let's go through and think through this a little bit. So in terms of root causes, well, first of all, um, let's see here. I park my car where it's visible. So parking my car in a visible location. Um, the other thing that I do is I leave my keys uh, close to the door. And apparently now um, thieves can actually scan your, your electronic key fob. So close to the door. So they might actually, they don't even have to get my keys. They can just scan them by coming close to my door. Uh, they might actually break into my house. So uh, keys may be taken from my house. And I guess in an extreme example, um, I may get carjacked out of my driveway. That would be pretty serious if that happened. So by taking the time to think through my root causes, this then leads me to, to think about the mitigations that would help me to address these root causes. So now I can take this a, little, a step further and I can say, okay, well, if I'm concerned about these you know, things, what are some things I could do? Well, first of all, I could clean up, finally clean out my garage. I, I'm lucky in that I do have a garage, so I could clean out my garage and park inside. Um, I could also put my keys in a protected envelope. They do make envelopes that can't be scanned. Um, sometimes, um, you know, I, I must confess, I don't always lock my door at night, but maybe I'll start checking, let's see, check locks each night. To bed. So somebody can't just easily break into my house or, or walk into my house and get my keys. And if I'm concerned about carjacking, maybe I can put a install security camera in a visible location as a deterrent. And maybe overall, I just want to install a security system in general. And so Hopefully you can see through this exercise the way that I can use a risk bow tie as an analysis tool. So rather than just you know stating the risk and then making a determination of the risk scoring, this gives me a structured way to think through how a risk would materialize and based on that, you know, what are some of the steps that I can take to prevent that from happening. And so so far we focused on the left side of the bow tie, and this is all about lessening the likelihood that a risk event is going to occur. Well, let's say despite all those efforts, my car is still stolen what are some of the things I can do after the fact to lessen the impact that this is going to have in my life? Well, first of all, I've got car insurance. Um, I can also get a rental car. Um, this also, this is where my um, security camera would come in handy. So in this case, I've already created it. I'll just reattach it. So maybe this camera would come in handy in terms of seeing who stole my my car and maybe I'll get it back. Um, I could also install a tracking system. I'm 
maybe this way um, the authorities could find my car and I could get it back relatively quickly. So I don't just have to think about stopping the event, but I can use the bow tie again as a structured way of thinking about my risk and a way to think about what I could be doing if the risk does occur to, uh, to, to lessen the impact. And then finally, I can also map out what would be the consequences on my life. So, you know, I, um, let's see here, I would have, uh, I have to pay my insurance deductible. Um, I also can't get to meetings. Um, and if it's a carjacking, then maybe I could get injured or worse. And so I won't continue to go through and fill those out. But hopefully through this, you're getting an idea of how you can use a bow tie diagram as a visual aid. Um, we find that these can be used in risk workshops. So if you have multiple stakeholders together, it's a, you, can, you can display this or share a screen. Um, it's a great way to, to, to get everybody's input. It's also a good way once a risk assessment has been completed, it's a good way to communicate to senior leadership or other stakeholders the results of that risk assessment. If you'd like to learn more about risk bow ties or about the Essential Platform, please visit our website. And if you'd like, feel free to book a short call with one of our risk advisors. Thank you.